Hello everyone, this is Mike Sangvi from vlaman.com and I'm back with another Commerce Reports Studio tutorial video. And in this video, we are going to learn about table of contents. So this is the final output for our reports. In the left, we have a PDF output and in the right, we have Excel. Whenever, and this is our table of contents page. Now, if I'm going to click on any of this, then we are going to rewrite on respective report. So let me click on sales by country and now we are on sales by country report page. Okay. On each report page, we have a header and we have a footer. So we edit links, go to top in header and footer. It is going to help user to redirect or it is, it helps user to go back on index page or table of content page. So I'm going to click on go to top and now we are table of contents or index page. Similarly in Excel, if I'm going to click on any of this report name, then we are going to redirect on respective report sheet. So let me click on employee sales and now we are on employee sales report worksheet. And this is go to top and go to top. This two URL is going to redirect our user on table of content page. So let's say I want to check sales by country. So I'm going to click on go to top and then I'm going to select sales by country. And now I'm on sales by country report page. Watch our entire video for the bonus content. So how to create this report for this? And uh, this is our sample report which we are going to modify. And in this report we have four report pages and we need to add our table of content page. For this, I am to click on report pages and I am to select my page and I am going to drag and drop on the top. I am going to rename this page. So let me rename this index. In this example, or in this demo report, we are using table of contents, but here I am using index. So this is based on your requirement or what uh, what your client wants so uh, for this second report i'm going to name it index i'm going to double click and open this and i'm going to add a header and footer uh, uh, no footer is not required for index if it is required for some company name or if you want to add any notice that this report is confidential then you may add footer but for this video i'm going to add only header so i'm going to select uh, I'm going to click on OK to add page header and now I'm going to add a text item. Inside this I'm going to type index. Next thing I want to arrange this middle and I'm going to select middle for horizontal and middle for vertical alignment. So this is about uh, index and now I'm going to select font size bold and underline okay so the next thing i want i want to add a padding so i'm going to select uh, padding i want to add a bottom padding of 10 pixel so this is about our index page now we are going to add table of contents for this i need to select table of contents and they can drop it here so our index page is almost ready the next thing we want to start adding table of contents entry on each report page so let me go and select our cell by country and then i'm going to let's say i want to add a table of country uh contents entry here you need to ensure you are going to add your table of country entry on inside header or you can say you are going to add table of content entry on the top of each report page you are not going to add this inside footer i'm going to similarly add this inside our other report so let me quickly select tables of country i'm going to dig and drop it here finally i'm going to select my third report table of contents entry here and finally i'm going to select employee sales table of contents entry here so employee sales by year is done okay so we it is almost done so i'm going to click on next and this is our index entries are created successfully the next thing we want is we want to provide our report name 
for this i am a little bit lazy person so i'm going to select this double click uh, i'm going to change it into report expression so i'm going to select report expression and i'm going to name it or i'm going to say i want a function report function and i'm looking for what i'm looking for ah, i'm looking for page name that's it and finally i'm to click on validate done and i'm going to remove this three text uh, items and then i'm going to select this first one control c to copy control v to paste paste and paste now i'm going to save my report and we are ready to launch uh, we are ready to run our report so let me quickly refresh my page refresh it i'm going to run this one i want to run this in pdf format run yes i want to open this okay and this is our index page so if i'm going to click on sales by country we are going to redirect on sales by country the next thing we want a back link for table of content for this let me quickly minimize or uh, close this and i'm going to open my report studio and here i'm going to add a uh, uh, on each report page we are going to add a text item okay and i'm going to say go to top i'm not going to add this uh inside footer this is for you if you want to add a link go to top inside footer also then you need to perform the same step so let me select go to top and then i want to first change its alignment for this i'm going to select a floating property for this and then i'm going to select uh the floating property for this to our rights apply click on okay you can also you can also try to add a table with three cells in the middle cells add your report title and in the rightmost cell you can add go to top link but for me uh, again i am a lazy person i just want to demonstrate how to add a go to top url so that's why i'm going to use this method so i'm going to add a go to top text item and i change its floating property okay the next thing i want i want to add a fill through definition for this and i'm going to name it uh, i'm going to add it and we want a drill through for label uh sorry bookmark and i'm going to select text and inside text i'm going to simply say it uc finally i'm going to click on okay let's test this changes and before running our report or before saving our report let me quickly add this inside our index so i'm going to quickly open a bookmark here uh, bookmark where it is okay here it is so i'm going to select this and then i'm going to drag and drop it here and i'm going to oh i don't want a underline for this uh, i'm going to select source type text and label i'm going to say it you see okay and now i'm going to save my report and then finally i'm going to run my report so what i want i want to run my report so i'm going to click on this arrow and then i'm to select i'm going to play this second report the format i want is the pdf click on run okay and i'm going to select my third report oh we don't have go to top url on third report so let me quickly go on top 
it is available inside our first report so let me uh, open first report and then finally we are going to click on go to top so this bug is going to be removed by if you are going to add a table and then if you are going to add a table then this is going to be removed so let me quickly check this I can I able to remove it with uh, alignment I don't think so okay so let me remove this bookmark let's edit here go to top here I don't want this block I want to align this inside middle and let's say I want this to sales by country I think it is fine let me save this and let me run it one more time okay now I'm going to click on sales by country now still the alignment for go to top is not correct okay so to fix this quick uh, add a table with uh, three cells in the middle cells add your report title and in the right most add go to top so now our go to top and index page are working uh, correctly and now in our demo report <coughs> i closed my demo report so let me quickly create a duplicate for this or oh, let me go back and let me create a duplicate of this page copy this and then i need to paste it here okay and now i need to run my first report let me click on this pdf and run so in this uh, i add a uh, extra item uh, i add numbers so how i added these numbers and how i modify the loop and feel for this table of contents entries for this i need to open my report and to or let me show you my or let me show you directly here okay for adding a number for this you need to add a cell extra cell so i'm going to select my four cell and then i'm going to select table insert column to left okay and i'm going to add a text item i want a text item here let's say i want this value to one okay so this is the manual task which you need to perform if you want to add anything specific in your table of contents entries the next thing i i change its size width and height to around 30 pixel 30 pixel and i change the background color for this cell and foreground color for this cell so background color is black and foreground color is white finally i removed this dots dotted border for this middle cell and for entire table cells of entry i added a bottom border so this is how i created the uh, this is how i modify this table of contents entries now the last thing i want to show you inside this report is let's say inside your report you have around 30 reports then you need to for each reports you need to perform the same step you need to provide a sales by country you need to provide a table of contents entry and then you need to add the table or go to top but how to avoid this so let me quickly add a block here and i'm going to add all these three items inside this block okay and then i'm going to select this block i'm going to add a name for this so i'm going to say it's table uh, 
report headers and I'm to select this cells by country I'm going to replace it with report expression and here I'm going to say I want a report function I want what I want I want page name okay let's test this first and then we are going to copy this header in our other reports okay so let me run this PDF run I'm going to click on cells by country. Yes, it is working fine. Go to top. Okay. Now what I want, I'm going to open our second report. I'm going to remove all of this. And then I want to add, what I want to add, I want to add a report item. So where it is, Our layout component reference. Oops, I'm going to add layout component reference here, and I'm going to use this report, and then I'm going to select report header. Then save it. Finally, I'm going to click on third report. I'm going to remove all of this, and I'm going to here add a layout component reference. I'm going to select report header, click on OK, last report. Save this and let's see what is the impact on index page. Now we have only one entry for index page. So let's run this one more time let me run this one more time i want a pdf output run and see inside our index page we are only able to see one entry but here we are able to see four entries one for each hour report okay so this is the issue which we need to fix but this is a homework for you share the resolution for this bug a little hint you can use report name and you can use a condition to display report numbers now let's test this this is sales by country i'm click on go to top this is customer order we are on customer order finally we are going to click on go to top this is our third report and finally our employee sales so this is how you can use or you can create table of contents pages this is how you can add bookmarks inside your report this is how you can use layout component reference in your reports so this is all about table of contents so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this video don't forget to click on subscribe share it with your friend provide your feedback and see you all in another video. Some important URLs.